believe in pressuring a man to marry you. I really don't believe in ultimatum, but I also don't believe in wasting my time. So that's why we split up. And I think the split definitely opens his eyes to see this is what he really wanted. He set the date, goes, and now we're just going better to be married. We Where is he? Family. He's downstairs. You want me to get him? Was he going to talk on the camera? I think he would. Go get him. I have two sons. My oldest is 12. You know, and that's all I honestly wish for is that he finds a woman who loves and respects him. It doesn't matter. How old's your youngest? Two. My youngest is three. Yeah. Same father? Yeah, we're together. Oh, y'all are together. Are y'all married? Married, yeah. To be married next month, yeah. Why it take so long for y'all to get married? Um. Why do you think? Personally, I think he wasn't... I think he had to be 100% sure that um, this is what he really wanted to do. Marriage, you know, I think marriage is uh, a, a touchy topic. Why weren't you? Why weren't you one hundred percent sure that's what you wanted to oh, do? I'm one hundred percent sure. Okay, I no, you weren't. No, you weren't. I, I, no, I knew from God. No, you weren't. No, you weren't. No, you weren't. No, you weren't. Because if you were, you would have required it before he was able to get into your coochie a thousand times. You would have required marriage. Listen to what I'm saying. Y'all don't require marriage. Y'all let men run up in, in and out of y'all coochie all these many times and then say, oh, well, he wasn't ready for it. No, I promise you. Y'all got a, y'all have a 12 year, y'all been together for what? At least close to 15 years? Oh, no, 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 no. My 12 years old is from a different relationship. His father is. I asked you if you had did both of your children by the same man. Oh, no, I'm sorry. No, no, How long no. have you been with this guy? We've been together four years. Four years? Yes. He don't think you're marriageable. He don't think you're marriage material. I was afraid of that. And that's why I honestly sat there and respected the time that he was ready to get married. But I knew in my he's heart. He's still not he ready to be married. No, he's ready. When's the wedding date? Day? When's the wedding date? It's the 24th next month. He's not ready to be married. I don't believe it. He's here. I mean, I gave him an ultimatum. Um, Cause like I told you, I knew I loved this man. I knew I wanted to spend the rest of my life with him. And when it was taking too long, I did give him an ultimatum. We split and I don't believe in pressuring a man to marry you. I really don't believe in ultimatum, but I also don't believe in wasting my time. So that's why we split up. And I think the split definitely opens his eyes to see this is what he really wanted. He set the date, goes, and now we're just going better to be married. We Where is he? Family. He's downstairs. Do you want me to get him? Was he going to talk on the camera? I think he would. Go get him. Why are you sitting outside? No, I'm, I'm sitting in another room in the house. Babe, are you comfortable talking on the camera? Marriage. Folks, hold on one second. Folks, we still about... Six people short of hitting our badge goal over on the Instagram. We need six more people. Support the Black Guru. Hit the little heart button below and you can get badges. Support the Black Guru over here on the Instagram. We're only about six people short. We almost hitting our goal. Appreciate all y'all for contributing. This is my king. What's going on, brother? Not much. How you doing? I'm doing good. Um, Congratulations on the engagement. I appreciate that. Yeah. Um, my my question to you is, you know, just speaking man to man, why do you think it took you so long to finally say you wanted to get married to this woman? Because what she just described to me 
was that she pretty much had to end y'all's relationship and give you kind of like an ultimatum. Right. So it took me so long to figure out marriage was the financial part of it. And I feel like I dug into that too much instead of like realizing that it's not always about finances, but it was a big thing to me. It really was. So I, I was focused on that, get my finances together so I could provide in multiple ways, even given that wedding, given that ring. So, But it would me. be easier to provide for her as your wife than it would have been for you to be with her and a child. See, because y'all have a child now. Yeah. And she already had a child before that. That you, I'm pretty sure you help with that child too, right? I do. Yeah. So I'm saying what's not making sense to me as a man is, hey, you know what? I'm not financially ready to take on that responsibility of marriage, but I'll still be with you and do what we can do what we doing. And uh, at the same time, I know you got the, this other kid. And now we just had another kid ourselves. That don't make sense, brother. And tell me why it doesn't make sense. Because if a man see we're men, we think logically, a logically, th a logical thinking man is going to say, Hey, you know what? Financially right now, it makes no sense to be with this woman. She already has a 12 year old. And if I get her pregnant, I'm at, am I willing to stick around or do I want to stick around and take care of her and two kids? Okay, I see your standpoint. I get that. Logically speaking, the man would say, I'll marry if. If she's marriageable right now, marriage material, then I'm going to marry her early because it's easier for me to. And then she can we can build whatever up together, income, money. We can do all that together. And then the child, the next child comes. That way we have a plan. You're right. So I don't think personally, I don't think. You saw her as marriage material, and I still don't. Okay, I agree to disagree. Okay, and the reason why I say that is if a, a man has to be given an ultimatum and the relationship has to end, then that tells me all I need to know. I'm a man, I've been through it. Not that the woman gave me an ultimatum, like not that she left, but she told me before I want to be married and I want you to be my husband and you know what I ended up telling her I'm not going to do it and she didn't go nowhere she just kept saying it but she didn't go nowhere okay. you getting an ultimatum and the relationship ending is you saying I'm not going to do it that's why the relationship ended before, because that was your answer of you saying, I'm not going to do it. No. Well, now, now, to, to be honest, I'm, I would expect you to say as a man, you know what, brother? And maybe you maybe you don't want to say it in front of her. You know what, brother? I don't want to deal with the broken family thing. I don't want to deal with child support, whatever. Now, then you would be talking and I would say, OK, now I understand what you're saying. This is not about the woman. This is more about you. It's not about because I don't believe the marriage material thing is there. I believe this is probably more about you. OK, and that financial aspect, as far as wanting to be financial financially stable means nothing because that's that was that was my big thing that's that's my big thing did you hear what i did you hear what i said though i said yeah, if you were thinking about finances you didn't that's what you would have did before yeah, you even got her pregnant exactly. you're right you're right that's a mistake I made be, 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 because getting a woman pregnant is a huge financial burden yeah absolutely absolutely that's something i didn't dig into before making that decision so i get it i do get what you're saying i hear you loud and clear and all I'm saying to you now is it shouldn't have took all that as far as because if you said, hey, you know what? I'm I'm here now. We here now. I didn't we didn't have this baby. I'm not going nowhere. I'm going to show you my dedication to you. You would have married her then. That last woman, let me tell you something. I would have did the same thing like you. The last woman that really wanted me to marry and I told her no. Let's just say she had got pregnant. 
I still wouldn't have married her. I still wouldn't have said, you know what? Yeah, you know what? I'm going to be that man. I'm going I'm to marry you. I still wouldn't have did it because I didn't see her as marriage material. Now, there was a time in my life. How old are you? 35. Okay. So you're a little bit, little bit younger than me. There was a time in my life where I didn't want to deal with the child support, the broken home, the child custody situation. So anytime I thought that that might be a possibility, I said, no, nah, if there's any pregnancy scare or whatever, then I'm just going to bite the bullet. And I don't know y'all's arguments or conversations behind the scene, but I know men and I know men, we think about stuff like that. And we consider stuff like that. What are going to be the ramifications and repercussions for me if I have to face child support? If I can't see my son. I'm just giving you something because let me tell you something, brother. If it's not there like it should be, it's not going to work after y'all get married. It might get worse. I'm, I'm giving you some real talk right now. It might get worse after you get married because now, see, you was trying to avoid that stress and that pressure of the child support and all that stuff. But now you're going to take on a whole different type of pressure and stress. And if you wasn't ready for, then you ain't going to listen. You just don't get this is something th this is an individual switch that happens either you're trained with it and brought up this way and know that this is what you are going to do and should do or there's a switch that happens in a person's mind man or a woman that says i want to take on the responsibility of being a husband or wife an ultimatum should never influence a man and whether he should be a, a husband. Never. Because if you flipped it, you damn sure wouldn't want no woman like that. I've been there. I've given women ultimatums. Get your stuff together or I'm gone. Never worked. Because it wasn't in them. They didn't want to be submissive. They didn't want to be humble. They didn't want to stay in the house and keep their mouth shut and be obedient. So I told you, like I told the woman earlier, she said, there's women out here, Guru. Stop putting this all in the box. I said, that's fine. There might be women. But just like I told brothers before, I'm not trying to look for no needle in no haystack. I just go where they have a whole bunch of needles readily available. That's why I say I don't deal with the BW. Do I think there's some decent BWs out there? Yes. But do I think they're needle in a haystack? Yes. I'm not willing to waste my time, energy, and money trying to find a needle in the haystack. That's too much work. Are you married? I don't disclose my personal anymore with that with that situation because I've had too many people come after me when it comes to that stuff and and try to find my wife and kids and all that other stuff so I just don't say nothing about it. Yeah. Yeah, we don't mean any disrespect by accident. No, I, I know you don't mean it. I know you don't mean disrespect, but I'm just explaining to him. I don't I don't mention that stuff anymore. I try to be as private as possible. There was a time that I did and then they just turned it all into mostly women, no good women. You do got to protect them. I get that. Yeah, I got I got to protect the people that I'm close to. Right. So I'll, that's all I'm trying to do is protect them. So they let just let the people wonder they can. It's better, actually, that they think I'm not married, that, that I don't have a woman, that no woman would ever put up with me. It's actually better for me that way. Got you, got you. OK, but I'm just talking to you, man to man. And I'm saying you should really consider that because. Things really might get better. And she should as well. It might get worse before things go. Y'all thinking it's going to go to the moon and y'all don't have this. It might get worse. No, no, honestly, we've been through it all. We've been through couples therapy. You don't know. You don't know. No, I'm. what I'm saying. You're not a man. Like, you're not listening. You're not, not a you're not a man. I'm saying I know men and things change 
after that marriage actually comes things change and if there was an ultimatum or something before it's not changing for the better gotcha. yes there are some people I'm, I'm not saying it's impossible there are some people but the risk is much higher in a situation like this now if you had told me you met this man five years ago four years ago whatever before y'all had y'all's child and he knew off the break he was a, a marriage minded man he knew off the break he wanted to be married he was very he was he had all this together boom and i would say okay did he marry you yes guru after well, they timed out if you told me from the jump that this man wanted to take you on, take on your son, wanted to be your husband, and he had all this stuff together, and he didn't waste no time, and you verified everything about him, and he had it going on, then I would probably say, yes, that's a great way to start a marriage. It's a great way to start a marriage. The rocky stuff, the back and forth, the ultimatums, no. And there it is. You just witnessed another episode of The Black Guru. You better subscribe and hit that bell twice to make sure you get notified for every single piece of my content. I got so much more to come.